Welcome to WebScan, the new Web 3.0 template. Uh, here you'll see exactly what the WebScan website looks like. It's a minimalist design with an image in the background that just scans across. It really captures the attention of uh, uh, viewers. And you've got here an optional heading, sorry, an optional logo, heading, subheading, a uh, button that you can use for absolutely anything, whether it be lead capture, send it to a, um, a landing page, or a buy now button, you could turn it into a click to call, uh, literally anything, Facebook share, Facebook like. And then at the bottom here, you've got a range of optional um, buttons that can be included from Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Google+, Maps, email, uh, which will automatically open up the uh, email of any device that the uh, site is viewed upon. It's fully responsive. Um, clients seem to love it. It's really quick to make these sorts of sites. They look, as you can see, stunning. And that this is uh, going to be a very exciting uh, piece of software for you because you can build literally unlimited sites with this software. So let's have a quick look at the software. It's exactly the same as the web 3.0 type where it's uh, fill in the blanks and out pops your website. So hold on a second. I'll show you how the site works, how the software works. Okay, when you first see, open the software, this is what you'll see. You'll just click the WebScan Site Builder. The Site Builder will load up. And there we go. Now, it really is a case of just filling in the blanks. And what I'm going to do is open a project. Um, Every time you build a site, it's a good idea to save it as a project because that way, if you want to redo it at any time, you can just open the project and make any changes and then re-output this site. So let's open a previous one. Okay, so I've opened a project. It's the one for our demo page. And you'll see all your you're asked very simple questions. What is the name of the business? URL of the website. Include the subdirectory if it's put in a subdirectory. Then um, uh, it's a multilingual option site. So you, you, the default language is English. If you want a different language, just uh, put in the different uh, language codes. They are all the codes are listed in the members area. The standard language codes: EN for English, FR for French, ES for Spanish, and so on. Um, if it's a standard right-to-left language like English or French, German, Spanish, etc., then <coughs> leave it as yes. Uh, if it's a right-to-left language like Hebrew or Arabic, then click no. Then you put who the site was developed by. That will be you, the developer title of the website, a short description, these are seen by the search engines. Do you want to use a logo? That's completely optional. If you do use a logo, uh, optimum size is 800 by 200. Then put the URL of the logo if you're going to use one. Um, we've used one here for 650 by 150. That also works quite well. Basically, the logo will fill up 60% of the screen. Uh, so if uh, on a mobile device, it will just reconfigure. Uh, it looks really neat. The reason you want it a fairly large size is that if uh, someone's viewing on a big screen, you don't want the image to look blurry. Also, by the way, it's good to have a transparent background for the, for the logo. Otherwise, it will just look like one block. After that, you've got the heading, the subheading, uh, optional button. Now the button you can uh, direct people to a um, a landing page. It could be a buy now button. It could be a click to call button. It could be virtually anything. 
uh, and we, we've included all the button actions uh, in the manual and also in the members area that you can use. Uh, of course for the button you can then choose through the color codes um, the uh, color of the button oops, and also the color of the button on, on hover in exactly the same way. Um, you give the button an action, so in this case we're just taking it straight back to the page that we're on and give the uh, button text whatever you want it to say and then, then you're just going to go through the various social media accounts if it's got Twitter, Facebook, whether you want them or not and if you do it will ask you for the IDs or URLs so we'll just quickly go through these Google places yes we'll just put Google for that um, link to a map now if you do want a map uh, the easiest way to go and get a map is uh, let me quickly show you we'll go to Google Maps actually you can literally just put in your address um, I'm going to just lift this up so you can see the URL there and we'll just click the map that came up and now we go into the URL copy that and come back to our software and we'll paste that URL in there okay and then um, email now the email uh, will open up uh, the default email client on any device whether it's mobile or desktop and then we are asked for um, analytics code whatever analytics you want to put in uh, whether it's Google or, or another that's optional though and then click finish once you've done that it will ask you for uh, a folder where you want to the site to be built so we'll create a new folder quickly we'll call it uh, web scan and that will bu uh, build it for you it just takes uh, um, a few seconds literally and then out pops your site folder will open up behind and then if we um, if you double click you'll see the site will look like this okay that's it I uh, hope you like it um, and look forward to seeing you in another thing